Hey everybody, uh, how's it going? Um, today I figured, since I gotta feed Brute today, um, he is going to be moving to small rats today. Um, but since I have him out and stuff, I figured I'd make a sort of a how-to video on how to feed snakes and stuff. Um, choosing the right uh, size prey item is what I'm going to be going over. Uh, uh, like how to know when to switch your snakes from mice to rats and how to tell if a uh, prey item is the right size for your snake. Um, okay. Well, what I have over here is just to give you an idea um, about the size that you may need. Uh, uh, what you want to do is you want to look at the girth of your snake, how wide it is from, you know, from across, just across here, see how wide he is. Now you don't want to feed him something too big and you don't want to feed something too small. Okay, for example is I wouldn't want to feed a big snake like Brute this small little uh, fuzzy mouse. Now it may be good for a snack but it's not a meal for him. And I wouldn't want to uh, feed him, well I could feed him a hopper but that wouldn't last him probably not even a day. And I could feed him an adult mouse. Yeah, I mean, he can eat this. But after I've been feeding him a couple times, I realized that adult mice, well, they're too small. I mean, he can eat like three of them before you can even notice that he even ate. And today, he is going to be getting a small rat. Uh, anyways, um... Another way you can do this, uh, I wouldn't recommend doing it until I guess he's eating something, but you can always like take the prey item, say this, and compare it to his body. And you see how small that is? That wouldn't really, you know, that's, that's like a snack. That wouldn't fill them up. And then uh, you just, you know, go through your sizes if you have, you know, different sizes like I happen to have. And as you can see, this one is a hopper mouse, and... It's not even, you know, big enough to fill him out. He's going to escape, but anyway. Uh, yeah, come on. Yeah. You're going to get your food. Just hold on. But, uh, yeah, you just keep going, you know, down the line. Adult mice, yeah, it would fill him up. But, uh, it's not, it's not what I call enough. And, uh, he's trying to get away. Come on. I gotta get a bigger feeding bin. But, uh, Anyways, and then this rat, see, check this out. This will give him, exactly, this will fill him up nice. It won't be too full. But, uh, anyways, let's get him fed before he runs away. Oh, come on, dude. Alright, hold on, we'll get you his food. I'll show you more. See if he eats, eats this. This is going to be his first rat. He never ate one, so he probably doesn't know what it is. And another trick to get him to eat, if I can get him to stay in his bin, is what you can do, if he's not going to eat, is take your heat bulb. I don't know if you can see that. And you take the rat, since they sense heat, this is what also what I do to get them. People, that, uh, my, the snakes that are stubborn is you just, you know, warm it up. Just the head part. Uh, you could do the whole thing, but you, do, you just warm this up on your heat light for a couple minutes. And eventually, it should make him get in, you know, he should pick it up. Uh, I don't know if he's going to eat. He never ate a rat, so this may take a while. Oh, there we go. See, he'll pick up the scent if he's not worried about getting away. This might take a couple tries. He's a little stubborn. Uh, yeah, but like I said, you just keep uh, warming it up. Eventually he'll uh, go into his feeding response, which is... He should be eating. He just shed yesterday. I didn't feed him on the feeding day. I normally feed all my snakes. He wouldn't eat. I don't know if I can get him to even eat today.
There you go. Come on. You know you want that. Come on, big guy. You haven't eaten all week. Come on, I know you're hungry. It's not going to hurt you. Try it. You might like it. Come on. Alright, I'm back. Um, I guess Brute must be off a of feed, I guess. He must be fasting, I guess. But, uh, we'll get out somebody that will eat. You know, she already ate this week, but she'll be alright. That way I don't have to feed her this week. But anyway, how you feed your snake is you'll definitely need to get one of these. Uh, feeding tongs are a must. Um, so you don't get bit. Uh, as you can see, Peanut, she don't care. She'll She'll bite me. Uh, she'll come straight out and get me. But, yeah, this is going to be her second rat. I mean, she's on small rats now. Uh, anyways, what you do, you just pick up near the rat. Rat or whatever you're feeding your snake. By the tail. Or at the, at the bottom or back feet. And then what you do, what I do is I just give this... Oh, well, he missed it. <laughs> just give her a quick little tap on the side and... She'll grab it up. I don't know if I got that or not, but that's only what you do. And then that's pretty well it. Uh, like I said, you always want to, you know, check out the girth of your snake, how wide she, how wide he or she is. And then, you know, you just, you know, take. I'll oh, see if she's done. But anyway, you take your your food and you compare it. I mean, she's fine on adult mice, but. I was deciding she can eat rats now and stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's what you do. You just compare the girth, which is the width, of your snake. You put the, this is what I do. You put the mouse here, and this will give you a reference of what, you know, it looked like. Uh, but anyways, like I said, you don't want to go too small. I mean, you don't want to go too small, but you can go small, but not too small. Like this. This, like I was telling you on the first part, but that wouldn't be big enough for uh, a big snake, it wouldn't even fill them up. It'd be bad to feed small anyway. Uh, now you could feed small if you had to, like uh, say if you don't have any adult mice, but you got maybe three hoppers lying around. Well, you can feed three hoppers to your snake, it wouldn't hurt them at all. Um, or if you like say if you run out of adult mice and your snake eats adult mice, well you can always double up on the small stuff, but not too much now. Don't be stuffing your snake like uh, Thanksgiving turkey. Because uh, too much food is also bad. Because they got slow metabolisms and the food, you know, sits in their gut. And if, you know, they don't digest it right away, it could actually rot and uh, cause your snake to die. But, uh, anyways, um... Uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully I gave you some good tips. Um, if you have any other tips, you know, you can comment below and uh, be appreciated. Or if you have a video response or something like that, you can go ahead and put that on. Um, so, uh, thanks guys, and thanks for watching.